while I have more freedom because I'm in less pain, I still gotta remember the other limitations. Wednesday morning everyone I slept in today it is crazy how well and how long I can sleep when I'm not like tossing and turning and being woken up by my pain you know the ketamine and the injections it's such a good plan for me and I am so grateful and I'm gonna take advantage since I'm feeling pretty good today I'm gonna get lots of things done around the house but first things first of course I have to feed Harlow, that's very important to her. Yum yum hippo, looks delicious. Okay, good girl. As you can see, that was Harlow's last prepped raw meal, so it's also prep day, and that is what I'm gonna do first for my list of things around the house. All right, kidney and livers are done. Those were super easy because I pre-cut the leftovers from last prep and froze them. So they were just pop them in the bag. Didn't even have to cut and measure. So Harlow just alerted me and she's spot on. My heart rate's up in the 130s. And I'm not feeling too great. So I was here prepping her um, meatballs, you know, the ground beef to put in there and she started nose bumping me and i figured she was just asking for some food because being a golden she loves food and all that and i'm dizzy um so I, I was like excuse you you're not getting anything and then i started to see spots and i was like oh maybe you're telling me something so i sat down and then i i checked my heart rate and she was spot on my um pots was acting up because even though it doesn't hurt to stand here anymore I still have dysautonomia, so if I stand for more than a few minutes, I'm going to faint. Um, so thank you, Harlow, for reminding me of that, you very good girl. And um, I did give her a little bit of the meatball to reward her, and I praised her, so. Gotta remember my um, other limits, but it is nice to be able to stand here and, and not have a lot of pain. Um, just gotta be mindful of the, the other things. Okay, y'all, I've made a compromise, because I want to stand and prep since I don't have a lot of pain prohibiting me from doing that. Plus, prepping is a lot easier when I'm standing. It's more practical, but I don't want to pass out. So I've got the walker behind me. That way I can stand here and do my thing, and then if I need to, I can sit down and take a break. And of course, Harlow's keeping a close eye on me. And now moving on to the pork. While I finish the prep, all is well. I just got to clean up. Towards the end of it though, I couldn't stand anymore. Just too many pre-syncope symptoms, which is what I feel before I faint. Dizziness, chest pain, weakness, fatigue. And so I just had to sit, but thankful for tools like my walker because despite those feelings, I was able to continue prepping. And because I wasn't dealing with so much pain, I prepped a lot faster than I usually do. And I did it all in one go, which is awesome. And now I'm just gonna clean up. What do you think, Hippo? It's all cleaned up and put away. That is a week's worth of food for her. And a lot of y'all have asked why we don't prep for like two weeks or even a month. And we just don't have space. There's nowhere in our home to put a deep freezer. And we didn't have room in the freezer until I cleaned it up a bit. And now she has this entire upper shelf for her raw diet stuff. And I was like, I could totally prep for like at least two weeks. So I didn't have enough meat to do it this time, but next prep day, I'm gonna prep for two weeks. I think it'll make my life a lot easier. Hello, we can't forget your bone. Okay. Yeah, go enjoy that. I will supervise from inside. I have been going, going, going today because I'm feeling great from not being in pain and I wanna take advantage of this gift and be productive and get things done around the house. I did the prep, I have been cleaning, but while I have more freedom because I'm in less pain, I still gotta remember the other limitations. And I don't think admitting limitations is a bad thing. I think when you're realistic with yourself, you can set yourself up for success. 
I don't want to pass out so I need to realize when my heart rate is getting too high and my POTS is acting up when my weakness is coming into play when my balance is getting thrown off and when my service dog is telling me hey it's time to slow down so I've gotten a lot done today I've been productive and I'm so happy about that but now my body is telling me it's time to take a little break so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna watch an episode of Glee well, I took my break downstairs, then I came upstairs, dusted, cleaned the bathroom, got some more things done. Now I am going to fold some laundry, and after that, I'll take another break. And while I'm folding laundry, I will continue to watch Glee. I love the music. <laughs> upstairs is clean, laundry's put away, I have rested a bit. I actually fell asleep for a little bit. And now I'm just going to start the Roomba and go back downstairs. I love the eyes. <laughs> uh, so when I was coming downstairs, I was bringing a few things with me, including two towels for the kitchen, new ones, because the ones we were using were dirty, and I dropped that one. I could totally go up the stairs and grab it because it's not super painful to go up and down the stairs anymore. However, because I've been doing so much today, my POTS is not happy, and I'm quite dizzy, so it's the Roomba. I'm going to play it safe and have Harlow get it for me. Can you get it? Harlo, get it. Good girl. Come on, pup. Give... Thanks, Harlo. Good dog. Well, I got everything done around the house. I did everything I needed. I did not do my physical therapy exercises today. So I will do my best to fit those in. But right now, I need to take a break. I'm a bit more symptomatic than I would like at the moment. Usually I do a better job of pacing myself, but I was just so thrilled with how I was feeling. I really wanted to take advantage and that's okay. You know, sometimes I do push myself. It's not like I pushed myself to dangerous limits. It's just, you know, I want to take advantage of the good days and there's no way I could have done all I did today and my mom's coming over for dinner tonight. I'm cooking her dinner too. There's no way I could do all that without the treatments that are available to me. So I'm really, really thankful. But right now, I do need to listen to my body and take a rest. Well, I did a little bit of exercising and then we did some training drills for Harlow just to keep her sharp. The last thing y'all saw us practicing where I was doing this hand signal is called roll. I'm refreshing her on that more now because let's say we're out in public and she's laying on a certain side and it'd be better for her to lay on the other side. I can ask her to switch and I demonstrated when that comes in handy in our last Disney vlog. I think it's titled How I Do Disney. She was laying kind of away from my wheelchair and I asked her to roll and then she was tucked in close to my wheelchair. So it's a very useful command and she's getting good at it. Now I just got to wait for my mom to get here for dinner. Who's that Harno? Are you so happy? Yeah. Yeah. Look who's here. Hi, Mom. Hi. How you doing, baby? We're all good. Harlow's good. so happy. I'm going to go get started on dinner. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the potatoes here. They're just little potatoes cut up, and I use a little butter, some olive oil, Parmesan cheese. We use a lot of parm in this family. Look how big. <laughs> we get this at, what is it, Sam's Club? Yeah, Sam's Club, because it, it's so big. And then I just put some seasonings in there and I'm gonna bake it at 350 for like 45-ish minutes so they're really soft. And then this is chicken. This is one of my favorite chicken recipes. There's mayo, parm, seasonal seasoning, and garlic powder in here. And then I just marinate it overnight and it tastes so good. I just bake it in the oven. It's easy and really tasty. The potatoes have been cooking and they're going well. Just adding in the chicken for the last 15 20 minutes or so and I started boiling the broccoli. It looks tasty. It looks smells delicious. Good. It's one of my favorite recipes. 
I'm glad you're here, Mom. Oh, me too. We are watching. What? Mom, watching what? You're on your phone and you don't know what you're saying. No, we're going to play um, Trouble now. Yeah. We... I'm just sending something to myself because I'm a teacher and I'm always looking for new... Ideas for her classroom. Yeah. Anyways, we've played this game since I was a little kid. My mom is ruthless of this game. <laughs> and last time we played it, she won. So, gotta win this time. Because my mom is a sore winner. She, she's so competitive and I'm not. Oh my gosh, Harlow. You gotta be in my face. Harlow, you wanna be on my team? Harlow's on my team. The Roomba just started again. Oh my gosh, it's like randomly start. It has a mind of its own. All right, we're gonna play. Traitor! You're supposed to be on my team. What is this? <laughs> and my mom is winning too. She's got two reds in home. Harlow, you betrayed me. Well, she won again. <laughs> Am I ever going to beat you again? Yes, you will today. You almost did it. We both needed a four and then she got the four. So good game, mom. Good game. Yeah. Well, I am ready to go to bed. It was such a great day you know i felt good i was productive and got a lot of things done and then i spent the evening with my mom it's just i am so thankful and i've been watching glee so i don't consider this a spoiler but just in case here's a spoiler alert skip the next 30 seconds if you don't want any spoilers i saw neil patrick harris was a guest star in one of the episodes oh my gosh when i saw him i started screaming i was like nba <laughs> I love Neil Patrick Harris. He's got to be my celebrity crush. And I know he's happily married to a wonderful man, but I love him. He was so good on How I Met Your Mother. Fun fact, Harlow's command word for putting her, her gear on is suit up from Neil Patrick Harris on How I Met Your Mother. But anyways, I'm kind of bummed. It doesn't seem like he's going to be staying on the series, but he's so talented. Anyways, I'm also excited because I saw that Florida is getting a cold front and this coming week it's going to be super chilly in the 60s, which is cold for us. So I'm really excited about that and I'm just, I'm happy. And don't get me wrong, even when I am in pain and symptomatic and I'm having bad health days, I'm, I'm still happy. You know, I still have things in my life that are good. It's just, today was a great day and I'm so thankful. And I'm going to continue watching Glee and then go to bed. So with that, I will say good night and thanks for joining us on our adventure.